on Amazon offers an incredible opportunity to sell more books. There's more customers looking to buy gifts for things like Christmas. And one of the best ways to get those books out in front of people is by using Amazon ads. So I've been self-publishing now on Amazon KDP for almost two years. And what I experienced last year was a huge boost in sales during that Q4 period. Now by Q4, we're talking about the last quarter of the year, which is October, November, and December. And the main reason that happens is people are looking for gifts. That's at least what I found during my experience. And I'm gonna show you now what the data looked like from last year so you can see for yourself. After we've gone through all the data, I'm gonna share with you the five types of ads that I would create this Q4 to sell more books. But first of all, instead of telling you all about it, let me show you the actual data. This shows my orders from 2023 on Amazon KDP. So as you can see from this chart, I was just getting going on my Amazon journey and month on month, I wasn't selling that many books. As I created more books, I was gradually getting more sales during May, June, July, etc. But then in the Q4 period in October and November, the orders really started to spike. So you can see here on this graph, I was getting less than 500 orders a month until October and November came around. And the thing that you might not realize is that during the Q4 period, people are already thinking about gifts during October and into November. So not only are you gonna see this big boost like I did in December, it's likely that you're also gonna see an increased amount of sales in October and November. So you can see here on this graph from May to September, my orders were pretty steady. Then I saw an increased amount of orders in October, and then that huge boost came in November and then massively into December. In terms of income, it reflects the amount of orders. So looking here, you can see that I was only making a few hundred dollars a month on Amazon KDP. And it wasn't up until the Q4 period that I realized the potential of selling books. So October here saw a little bit of a boost and then November and December saw huge increases in my royalties. So in 2023, I made a little over $17,200 on Amazon KDP, which is a little over 13,500 pounds. But as I'm gonna share with you the types of ads that you should be creating this Q4 period, I also wanna just show you how much money I spent on ads as well. So last year in 2023, my profit was $17,200. My ad spend was $6,174. My expenses for the year were $540, which meant my take home profit was $10,498. That's around 8,258 pounds. So last year, as you saw from those graphs, it was a good year of getting started on Amazon KDP. I managed to build nicely to that Q4 period, and that's where I saw so many of my sales. And now as we're into Q4 for 2024, it's really important to start looking at what ads you're gonna run. Again, just looking at my growth from last year, this also has the profit on it. So not only was I getting more orders in November and December, I was getting so much more profit per month. So you can see on this graph in May, I wasn't even making any money on Amazon KDP. That's because I was spending more on ads and expenses than I was getting in royalties. But it's all about growth on the platform. And that's what I've found so far. And I was building to that Q4 period in October, November, and December, where the orders and the profit massively increased. So I went from making zero in May to making over $6,000 in profit in December alone. And you can see that here in its raw format. I've took all that data and put it in a table. So you can pause this and look through it if you want. But you can see here in the second half of 2023, I went from making a few hundred dollars a month up to making over $6,000 in December. And on the next slide, I'm gonna show you the power of using Amazon ads. So this is all of the advertising that I've ran in the United Kingdom marketplace. So you can see here, I started back in 2022, but it was only 2023 that I really got going with my publishing business. And you can see that huge increase in orders and spend in December of last year. And that's because there's people looking for gifts. So if you're running ads, you're gonna see an increased amount of impressions, increased amount of clicks, and an increased amount of orders in November and December especially. And that's why there's a great opportunity this Q4. There's a bigger customer base, you're gonna get more clicks and more orders, so it's important to try and optimize your ads now. And this is just looking at one of my ads. So this one I launched in October, and you can see that huge boost in orders in November and December. Then when it comes back down to January and the new year, it goes right back down. And so that shows you the amount of people who are searching for certain types of books on Amazon in November and December. 
And one thing that was really good to see is the ACOS, which is the advertising cost of sale, remain consistent through November and December. And you can see here that green line is the ACOS. It actually went up in February. So this ad was really profitable for me last year. I had an ACOS of under 15%, which means every book that I sold using ads was making me profit. And so this ad performed really well for me, but it also led to increased organic sales as well. And that's what I found so far on Amazon KDP. Amazon ads can be really useful to help you get sales, but then from my experience, what I've seen happens is you also get an increased amount of organic sales as well. Here's another ad that I've been running as an example. So you can see here, I spent a lot in August of 2023. That is that blue line. But in terms of the orders, which is that purple line, it didn't increase that much. But then as you move into November and December, you can see that my spend increased, but customers were more likely to buy this book during those months. And so therefore my income and my orders increased massively as well. And I think this graph especially shows the power of advertising during the Q4 period. At least the way that I think is people are more likely to buy giftable products during October to December. Now that I've shown you what's possible using Amazon ads during the Q4 period, I'm gonna tell you the five types of ads that I think you should be setting up. And this is based on my experience. And what I would say is, you know, test these for yourself and see what works for you. Everyone's books are different, everyone's targeting different things, but these are the five types of ads that I would set up to begin with. So first of all, you've got keyword ads. If you're making sales using keyword ads, there's every chance that you're gonna rank for search terms organically. And that's what you want for long-term growth on Amazon KDP. Product ads is the next type of ads, and they're the ones that can appear below a product in the sponsored products section. So if you're targeting popular books, there's every chance that your book can appear below that book as well. The next type of ad is a categories ad. Now this might work for some books, it might not work for other books, but it's a really good one to test. The fourth type is an auto ad. Generally, from my experience, you want to be bidding quite low on those auto ads, but there can be a great way to find new keywords and new products to target. And then the fifth and final ad that we're gonna set up today are lottery ads. These tend to work well if you've got multiple books, but we'll go over that shortly. Now, let's go over to my Amazon Ads console and I'll show you how to create these five different types of ads. So on Amazon Ads, all you need to do is click this Create Campaign option. You've got your different campaign types here. You've got sponsored products and sponsored brands. All five of these ad types today are gonna to be the sponsored product ads. So if we click continue, I'll take you through how to set up a keyword ad. So just to mention, this might differ very slightly if you're creating ads in different marketplaces. But for now, we're gonna create a standard ad and then you need to give it a name. So we're gonna create these five different types of ads for my cozy Christmas coloring book. So as you can see here, this is a coloring book for adults. If we have a quick look inside, it features bold and easy coloring pages for adults and a fun giftable product. I've currently got it listed for $6.95 on the US marketplace. So all you need to do is select the product and then you come down to the targeting. So for keyword ads, you need to choose manual targeting and then keyword targeting. Amazon will then suggest some keywords, but for this one, I know the type of keywords that I want to target, so I'm gonna enter my own. So these are the four keywords that I'm gonna target. And then with the bid, you can either do the suggested bid or you can set your own. So I'm gonna set my own and I'm gonna set it at 51 cents. This is just a little tip. I like to include a number that's one cents above either the zero or the five. I don't know if it actually does anything, but I just think if people are setting it at 50 cents, this ad's got more chance of showing at 51 cents. So that's just something that I tend to do. So all we do is click add keywords. Amazon will show you what the suggested bid is here. So I'm well above that, which is great. And then we scroll down to the campaign bidding strategy. You can either use up and down, which will go up to 100% above your bid. So that would increase that 51 cents up to $1.02. You can do a fixed bid, which is where every click you get will be at that 51 cents, or you can do down only. So I tend to do down only. I think it's nice to limit the amount that you're spending per click. And what I found as well is you won't be charged 51 cents for every click. Amazon uses these dynamic bids where they will lower the bids if you're less likely to convert to a sale. So that's really useful. So even though I'm setting my bids at 51 cents, it might only cost me say 35 cents per click. You can adjust the bids by placement here and then you give your campaign a name. You can add it to a portfolio and you can set a start and end date. 
So seeing as this is a Christmas coloring book, we're gonna run it until Christmas day and we're gonna set it a budget of $10. So that's your first one, that's your keyword ad setup. And now we're gonna set up a product ad. So we're gonna create another campaign. Again, it's a sponsored product ad. We're gonna do the same things here that we did before. You select your book and you come down to the targeting. So again, we do the manual targeting, but this time we click product targeting. And as it says here, you can choose specific products, categories, brands, or other product features to target your ads. And so this is the same thing we would do for the categories as well, which I'll come on to in a minute. But as you can see here, you can either do categories or individual products. And for this one, we're gonna do products. So we can search for the types of products that we want to feature on. And seeing as this is a coloring book for adults, all I'm doing is searching for Christmas coloring books for adults, and I'm gonna select a bid. So I'm gonna go with 25 cents, and then I'm gonna add all of these products. It might be a good idea to take a bit more time here and go through them individually, but I'm just gonna go broad for this example. So I've gone through and added 200 products to this ad. Scrolling down, we're gonna do a down only bidding strategy again and give it a campaign name. Again, I'm setting the end date to December the 25th and I'm gonna give it a budget of $10 per day. So that's the product ad created and now it's time to create a categories ad. So again, we go through and do the same thing. We click a sponsored product ad. We add the ad group name, select our product, go to manual targeting and product targeting once again. But this time we're gonna select categories on the targeting. So you can see here, it's got a suggestion. So I'm gonna enter a custom bid again of 25 cents. And this one's suggesting that we target religious and inspirational coloring books for grown-ups. That might not quite be right, but as it's Christmas, it might be worth a go. So we're gonna select that category. We can then also search for our own categories. So I've just searched for coloring books. And you can see here, there's a category called coloring books for grown-ups. So I'm gonna add that to the targeting. Those two categories are probably the best fit for this Christmas coloring book. So we're gonna scroll down and finish this ad. So again, we're gonna do a down only bid, give the campaign a name and set an end date. And again, give it a daily budget. So those are the three more manual ads that I would set up. And now we're gonna do an auto ad. So what I love about auto ads is they're so easy to set up and you can take a lot of learnings from them as well. So if we click continue and set up this auto ad, we give the ad group a name again and select our product, but then on the targeting, we select automatic targeting. Now you can either select a default bid across all of the targeting groups, or you can click this button here and set different bids. And I really like to do this because the different types of targeting groups have different benefits. So the close match is one of the most powerful here because it's things that are really close to your book. Like it will probably target things like Christmas coloring books for adults, where the loose match will go much broader. So it might target things like coloring books for adults or Christmas books. So I want the close match to be a higher bid. So I'm gonna select the close match to 31 cents. I'm gonna leave the loose match for 15 cents. And then the substitutes and complements are ones that are often found on the also boughts underneath, you know, the sponsored products section. So I'll leave those bids as quite low. You can enter your negative keyword targeting and your negative product targeting if you like. And then coming down to the bidding strategy, we're gonna select down only again and enter the campaign name. We're gonna select the same end date and give it a daily budget. I'm gonna click create campaign and that's how easy it is to create that auto ad. And just before we go on to create our final type of ad, I'm gonna show you why these auto ads can be so useful. So here's an auto ad that I've already set up for this book. And so as you can see, you've got the different types of targeting here. But what you can do is you can click in the search terms tab. And so if we select this for this month, you can see in this auto ad everything that Amazon has targeted. So what I love about this is it's a great way to find new keywords to target as well as new products and categories. So you can see here, I've got a sale from targeting this product, Creative Haven Christmas Color by Number. And in my product ad, I might not have targeted that because it's called Color by Number and not Coloring Book. So knowing that one click led to a sale on that product, I will go into my product ad and add that product into that. So that's why I think auto ads are really powerful. They're a great way to just test the water and see what works for your book. It's also a great way to get ideas for new products and keywords to target. But let's go on and create the final type of campaign that I recommend for this Q4 period. 
and that is a lottery ad. So lottery ads mean different things to different people. But what I've found work really well with lottery ads is adding a number of products. So we're gonna create a product ad again. And then what I'm gonna do in the product section is go through and add 10 of my best coloring books for adults. So in the product section, I've added 10 coloring books and then we come down to the targeting. Now, you can do a lottery ad for anything. You can do it for keywords, you can do an auto ad, you can do a product ad, but what I found works really well with these lottery ads is adding a lot of targets, a lot of products, and very low bids. So if we come down to the keyword targeting, we're gonna select a very low bid, and we're gonna enter a lot of keywords. So on this lottery ad, I've added 123 total keywords. Now you could add more, you could add less, but the point of this is we're going really broad and we wanna get those low cost per clicks on this lottery ad. So coming down, we're going to select down only. We're going to select our end date and our budget and we click launch campaign. Now it's worthwhile trying different strategies for these lottery ads because some of the books that it's targeting might work, some of them might not work so well, but what I found so far is you can get low cost per clicks using these lottery ads. So yeah, those are the types of ads that I would set up for this Q4 period for every book that you want to push on Amazon KDP. These ads can help you to increase sales in Q4 and beyond. And what I've found so far on Amazon KDP is that by using Amazon ads to help sell your book, you're gonna start ranking for more keywords and you're gonna start appearing in the also bought section. And that can help increase those organic sales as well. So seeing as Q4 is already underway and customers are already out there buying gifts, there's no better time to set your ads up than today. I also want to know what types of ads work best for you during Q4 last year. Let us know down in the comments below. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All the best in Q4 this year, and I'll see you in the next one.